I should be billing Asus for drinking from this water bottle. So we're uh, off to our sort of office update vlog part three and I was like, who wants to help me film today? And Ed was like, oh, I volunteer, I'd really love to. And I kind of went, okay, let's go. Right. I'm on the motorbike today. And even if I did have a helmet, I am quite certain Edsel would not get on the back of a motorbike with me. So we're borrowing Brandon's car, which he was of course thrilled about. Let's go. Kingston KC310 Series SSDs feature firmware-based data loss protection, massive capacities, and enough speed that we use them for our 24 SSD RAID Zero Array server. Click on this leaf to learn more. Actually, don't look too closely at that leaf. Never mind, it's fine. I think more than anything else, I'm just glad we're out of the office right now, because I've spent the entire morning working on SMB 3.0 multi-channel and getting it to work. And the problem is I can't even figure out how to do any research about it because everything I find is like, well, you just, if you have two network interfaces, you plug the two into a dummy switch and bippity boppity boop, you're good to go. And it is not working. So maybe some encouragement will help guys. Hit the like button if you think I should keep working at this or if I should just forget it and use single NIC interfaces, then hit dislike or something. Because, man, I have burned so many hours on fresh installs of Windows 8 and Server 2012 R2, um, configuring LACP through the switch and through the interfaces, uh, configuring it through the Intel driver versus configuring it through Windows. In theory, you shouldn't have to do it, but it, the aggregation should work anyway. Uh, I'm glad we're out of the office right now. Okay, so... Since we're gonna be taking the uh, trailer to the new office, I guess now's as good a time as any to load up some of the freaking junk that I have in my garage that needs to go there um, that I've been accumulating over the last little bit here. You know, if I was smarter, I'd probably back the trailer into my driveway <laughs> instead of carrying these like this. Little did Brandon know, the greatest risk of damage to his car was when I was actually outside of it, not when I was driving it. I'm not that close. It's no big deal. It's actually paralyzed with fear. Which is why you said and did nothing. I was actually thinking, oh, I should record this. And I saw you kind of on a bad trajectory, and I'm like, oh, is something going to happen? <laughs> Silencio. S652 or F652S or whatever. I like them because they're quiet and they have card readers. And they don't have, uh, they don't have holes in them from when we started some hair-brained whole room water cooling scheme. Okay, these are really heavy. Okay. These are our new chairs uh, from Maxnomic. Personally, I'm into the Dominator myself, but uh, some people went for different designs. Good for the case. How many of these do we have? Six, that must be right. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll have to do some more loads another time. I guess I did not get as much in the trailer as I had really thought we would. Okay, so there you go. We'll take a load of stuff to the office and have a look at what kind of progress they've made in the meantime, since we started this load. Actually, since the last time we did a tour. Actually, there's one more thing we can take with us now. Check this out. Ed, have I told you about this? We're actually gonna do our own personalized dishes for the new office. So that way, without resorting to checking the surveillance system, I'll be able to tell who it is that leaves dishes out and makes the place messy. So uh, 
I'm pitching this as a channel super fun where we all decorate our own dishes and stamp our initials in our cutlery. But what it actually is, is a way for me to uh, keep an eye on you lot. So this is cool on, uh, crap, I forget what site it is, whatever. Anyway, you can get personalized um, forks and knives and spoons for like 20 bucks each, or you can buy one of these for $20 and you can do as many as you want with a hammer. So we're gonna do our own cutlery too. So I just realized I'm probably not gonna be home when Brandon comes to pick up his car. So uh, let's find somewhere to put his keys so that, uh, you know, he can get them, but that someone else doesn't find them. Yeah, this could work. Safe. This is good news. So if you look up over the car there, Fraser Valley Refrigeration is I think at our unit, which means the HVAC system is presumably being worked on, which is pretty exciting. So as much as I trolled my entire team and the entire internet, um, we are getting air conditioning for the office. In fact, we're getting two three-ton units, one on the upper floor, one on the lower floor with uh, like baffles to make sure that the rooms that don't have a bunch of computers in them don't get too cold and all that kind of stuff. So let's, uh, let's go inside and see how things are shaken. So uh, I believe this is all stuff for the sets, which is just kind of uh, modular pieces of walls that'll go behind us and then we'll, we'll decorate and move around the outside of the room. There is one, th oh my God, there's a couple things leaned against the wall. Like, apparently I wasn't clear enough with my cones and my yellow rope to make my point about not putting things on the other side of the cones and the yellow rope. The good news is that this is actually dried to the point where it's much more difficult to damage now. So I won't have to have a brain tumor today. So, one of the electrical outlets that I noticed was missing is on the outside of the library down there. And uh, apparently our project coordinator is on vacation this week. I had no idea until I uh, emailed him today and then tried to call the office and was told that he was on vacation this week. So hopefully they're getting that and any of the other electrical outlets that are not here sorted out. But there is a bunch of other stuff that has made significant progress. So let's start upstairs. So this won't be immediately apparent, like upon first glance, but one of the big changes is that the network cabling up in the rafters of the warehouse has actually been run. So whether we're talking security cameras or access points or uh, drops to other areas of the warehouse, like over there where we're gonna have like a little receiving thing, um, all that network cabling has been run throughout the warehouse and is ready to rock. Uh, also, upstairs, woo, look at that. Wow, a lot has actually changed here. So drywall is coming in right now as we speak. Those are the guys that are working right now. The window structure that I talked about before is actually much more readily uh, visible now. So you can see how it's going to look, you know, not completely enclosed on the upper floor now. Actually, if you come over here and just kind of look out, you'll see how you'll be able to look out across the warehouse. I don't know how much of a view there's necessarily going to be because uh, Brandon is probably going to want to shut all those windows up there. So there might actually not be a ton of natural light out there anyway, but uh, the way that I see it, it's still better than nothing. So in here, this is going to be pretty dark. So the good news is you get an office. Uh, the bad news is you get like the electrical panel that like buzzes and makes noise and stuff and this like massive like shut off switch thing in your office so yeah whoever sits here will have to decide how they feel about that that's going to be the bathroom right there um this is going to be uh the kind of the the slightly bigger office but not my office uh, no idea who this one belongs to yet i'm trying to convince my wife to come work for us so maybe i can entice her with you get your own office uh, this is going to be the meeting room slash conference room it's a little smaller than i had envisioned 
Oops. Let's just bend that back. It's a little smaller than I had envisioned, but we're gonna try and make some of it up by turning this into kind of like like cushion sort of place to sit. So if someone's talking uh, on the projector wall over there or whatever the case may be, then extra people can actually kind of sit along here, whoever can't fit around the table. So, so my office is coming together nicely. Um, got the view out here and then like it barely even feels like I'm in an office at all right now to be perfectly honest because there's going to be a window here there's a window there so it's not about privacy necessarily it's just more about having a quiet workspace where I'm a little bit more difficult to interrupt than I am now where it's hard to really get any writing done half the time this is where the peephole to the bathroom will be installed now we wanted to turn this space right here into a closet in that office but something something plan something something inspection unfortunately we weren't able to make that happen the good news is we ended up with an unexpected little closet thing here that i guess will turn into i i don't know storage for something like i don't know mops or cleaning supplies in theory we're going to clean this place hey. oh hello great this is going to be a little reception area so in theory we'll put like a desk like kind of here and someone will sit here and then there's gonna be like a Linus Media Group thing over here. Dbrand was gonna send us like vinyl wrapped letters but they couldn't get the, the technical details sorted out unfortunately. That's okay, no big deal. We'll find, we'll find something else to put there. So this is another case of a room that I really thought was gonna be a lot bigger than it ended up being. Um, but we're just gonna have to work around it. So this is the library and it actually only goes from this mark here for the wall into that corner. So we're basically gonna have room for like a couch and like a chair. And so yeah, we'll we'll just I mean we'll do our we'll do our best with it. Uh, this is the this is the plumbing for apparently the kitchen. I wasn't sure what they were digging this out for last time, but yeah of course we have a little kitchen unit right there where people will you know make food presumably. Uh, this is a closet and then this right here is the super weird bathroom that's actually a lot of progress has been made here they've taken out the supports that were in the way of the door so this bathroom is going to be hilarious like when you're on that so this is going to be the toilet so when you're on the can you're going to be like sitting under the stairs because uh, there was a bit of a floor plan um, issue uh, so it looks like i was indeed correct the ducting is going in Right now, as we speak, um, the drop ceiling is installed. That's all new since last time I was here. So the server room is currently uh, quite occupied by things. Um, <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's good, I guess. So I can't really get in there to show you guys the power outlets that were, that were missing last time I was here, but apparently they are working on now, so that's good. Uh, we should have enough power in the server room. Um, so there you go. I guess that's pretty much the update for now. I don't want to jinx anything, but we're hoping to be moved in in the next like few weeks here, which I mean, it might take us a while to get our sets fully built out and really get properly moved in and get the workflow smoothed out. Um, but oh, right, the ducting. Um, oh, I really hope that there is, this is a ladder, right? Yeah, it seems to me. I really hope that the plan is to, because this is, Wow, I don't know. Because this is above the drywall here. So there's supposed to be exhaust in this room, like uh, exhaust to the, uh, to the central um, HVAC for the servers. And then there's supposed to be an intake on the door. We interrupt wow. this program to bring you the Rocket Tie-On. It is a gaming mouse with an 8200 DPI laser sensor and 14 programmable buttons, which you will find here, 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 and here. It has a right-handed ergonomic shape. It features their RGBA, RGB lighting configuration, so you can light up these bad boys right here, as well as the mouse rim, so that goes around the outside of the tie-on. It also, with their easy shift functionality, allows you to have up to two functions per button, a pretty handy dandy little feature right there. 
And this is actually pretty cool. This is the accelerator. This is a linear one axis. See that springs back to center little like paddle that your right mouse, well, see I'm holding it with the wrong hand, it's a one-handed mouse. Well, not to say that there are two-handed mice, it's just to say that it goes in your right hand, uh, which you can use for things like throttle or really, I mean, anything else that would require, you know, not just up or down, more like, uh, well, you guys know what these are for, you're gamers. And I guess that's pretty much all I have to say about that. So if you want to learn more, go ahead and click on this thing. Otherwise, back to you, Linus. So I don't want to jinx it, but we're hoping to be moved in in the next few weeks or so. So uh, wish us luck. Um, but I guess that's pretty much it. If you guys disliked this video, then I think you know what to do. But if you liked it, go ahead, click that like button, get subscribed, or even consider supporting us directly, whether it's by buying a cool t-shirt like this one, shopping with our affiliate code on Amazon, or even giving us a direct monthly contribution through our community forum. And so now that you're done with all that stuff, you're probably wondering what to watch next. And might I suggest you check out Scrapyard Wars. By the time you'll be watching this video, the entire episode two, all five parts of it is gonna be out. And uh, it is, especially the conclusion, is quite the doozy. So go ahead and check that out, guys. Thanks again for watching, subscribe, and all that noise. I'll see you again next time. I should get down from here carefully. Keep it rolling in case I fall, it'd be hilarious. Nope, I'm good.